Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the SwiftTech Polaris 120 CPU cooler. This is quite a nice looking box. It's a little bit plain, but that's okay. It has all the information on it you would need if you are picking this up in store. You can kind of see the product through this clear window on the front. It has this uh, black white fan and you can see the fins on the cooler. Picture of the product more information as well as features and specifications about it. And note that they have this plastic carry handle, which is nice if you want to carry it out of the store. I like products that have these handles. It just makes it easier somehow. So let me open it up and see what's inside. Accessory box. Let's see what's in here. Back plate, clips for the fan, all kinds of other materials for installing this on just about any motherboard that's currently on the market, including some thermal grease. And the cooler. which includes the fan. This is a 120 millimeter fan. And the heat sink. Now let's have a closer look. And they also include an installation guide. Now let me first go through some of these specifications. The fan is speed controlled via the motherboard's PWM. You connect the four pin connection into the CPU motherboard fan header. Note that it has a sleeved lead that's quite nice. Uh, it's 12 volts. The maximum current is 0.32 amps. Airflow is between 62 to 84 CFMs. It's between 13.2 to 41.5 decibels. The speed range varies between 750 to 2500 RPMs. This heatsink has a long compatibility list and it supports the Intel LGA775, LGA1155, 1156, and 1366 in a number of AMD sockets as well, 754, 939, 940F, AM2 and AM3. Now, while this is not a monstrous heatsink, it is fairly tall, but it should fit in most mid sized tower cases and certainly full size tower cases. This heatsink is comprised of lots of aluminum fins, heat pipes, and a solid copper base. Note though that the heat pipes come down to the base. So this is in direct contact with the CPU. So that's fantastic. Now note that at the top, well, it's black. It has the SwiftTech logo. This looks quite nice actually. And the back here is grooved out and this is where the fan gets installed and you install it using the included clips, one on either side. Now let me show you how easy it is to install the fan on this. Two of these clips, I have one already installed, but all you do is slip it down to the top, up through the bottom, do the same for the other side, then place the fan on like so and just snap it up. Now there's a couple of grooves here in the fan you want to pop those into that to make sure that the fan is secure and that's it. Now one very important thing to remember when you are installing any CPU air cooler including this one is to mount it on the motherboard on top of the CPU in a way so that the fan is pushing all of the warm air from the heatsink out of the case. Now remember that the motherboard will control the speed of this fan and again it will vary anywhere between 750 to 2500 RPMs depending of course how you have everything set up and so on and so forth. But let's just have a listen to it now at maximum speed so you can get a better idea.
SwiftTech is known for their quality custom products and I have to say that I really, really like this CPU air cooler. CPU air coolers are still extremely popular because, well, they're affordable and they do the job like this particular model. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.